This is Dano F and in this video I'm going to explain how to get started as a DJ in six steps. Step one is to pick and tune your profile. To have a profile that really suits you is very important because it implies everything else you will do in your DJ career. The most common ones are the mainstream DJ, underground, club DJ and event DJ. I've broken down these profiles into three aspects, the music tastes, the typical venues and the personality type. So whatever resonates with you, just pick it and start refining your own personal profile from there. The mainstream or EDM DJ, he follows the charts, he likes big acts like Hardwell, Avicii, David Guetta. He likes to play in the big rooms of the mainstream clubs big festivals, be on the big stage. He's in it for the fame. He wants to play in big venues and make a lot of money. He will typically be an extrovert. The underground club DJ is very specific about his kind of music. He only wants to play his stuff and he doesn't care about other music and he doesn't care about what people want to hear. He has his own genre and uh, he's very good at it. His typical venues would be underground clubs and parties and smaller festivals. And his personality is he's in it for the music. He wants to play his stuff and money is not that important. He's more likely an introvert. The event DJ is in it for the fun. He likes to entertain. His music collection and tastes are very broad. He can cover anything from rock to soul, disco, EDM. His typical venues would be weddings, fashion shows, product launches and so forth. Event companies would be a really good match for this type of DJ. So the idea here is to pick whatever resonates with you and start refining it until it really makes sense to you. So you know what is your destiny, what is your goal as a DJ and everything else will unfold from there. Step two is to build your music collection. Now, since you know what kind of DJ you want to be, you will build your music collection accordingly. And I look at this process as a closed loop. You start with what you have. You identify the tracks and artists you like the most. You look them up on SoundCloud or Beatport. You find similar artists and you find the labels which have signed those artists and look at the other artists which are signed by these labels. Then you look up all these artists, the according genres, the according labels, find more tracks, you download these tracks, in other words you buy them, make sure the data rate is at least 192 kilobit per second, but ideally 320 and you repeat the process until you have a collection of at least 200 tracks together to start building your playlists. Step 3 would be to organize your gear. Now this comes with expenses, so you have to adjust it to your budget. Version A is you have zero budget. That leaves you with the option of downloading free DJ software like Mixer or Ultra Mixer. And you can still start building playlists on a zero budget. But eventually you will have to move on to plan B, so to say, where you can at least buy a Traktor S2. This is what I use and this controller does everything you need for professional DJing. Uh, plus buy a set of headphones in the $100 range. So with 500 bucks you will have your complete DJ set, a headphone, a controller and I suppose you have a laptop. When you are lucky enough to be able to spend $2,200 I recommend you still get the Traktor S2 as your core mixing equipment, a decent pair of DJ headphones like Vimoda Crossfade M100 plus a Pioneer XDJ mixer. This is the most expensive part of gear, but it makes sense because most clubs are equipped with CDJs. And being able to operate and mix with these CDJs 
is really essential for a professional DJ. Every club owner would expect you to be able to use his gear and in some situations it will not be possible to bring your equipment uh, or you might just want to travel with a pen drive rather than a whole case of gear. So it's great to have a set of CDJs at home to practice and to be able to play with those as well. Then you need to learn the basics of course. The basic skills consist of technical skills and people or marketing skills. I teach everything you need to know to play with Tractor Pro in my Tractor DJ course and it mostly covers the technical skills of setting up your gear, editing playlists, beat matching, mixing, mixing and key and a few other things. People and marketing skills is what gets you the gigs. You need to promote yourself, you need to be able to deal with club managers and promoters, deal with the crowd, the song requests and dealing with your own anxiety. I cover most of these topics in my DJ blog. Step 5. Set up your social profiles. This is part of marketing yourself and as soon as you are ready to play you want to go out and find gigs. As soon as you talk to a club owner or promoter you want to be able to point him to your music online. So you should have your Facebook page ready, your Mixcloud profile, your Soundcloud profile containing your mixes obviously and setting up your own DJ website is not a big deal at all nowadays. It can be done within a few hours. Eventually we come to step 6 which is getting the gigs. This is where all your previous steps will pay out. Now you're ready to play, you have your music together, you have your skills together, you have your social profiles together and you can pick some of these strategies to get yourself your next or your first gig. Promote your social profiles and website. Share, tell your friends, run ads, do whatever you can do to make your social profiles visible. Leverage your social network. Talk to your friends, see who knows someone who is a club owner, who hires DJs, who maybe runs an event agency or organizes parties. Eventually someone will always know someone who knows someone, so just ask for referrals and introductions. As soon as you have spotted the club owners, go and talk to them, get to know them. Have a chat, show up at least seven times and ideally prove to them that you know your stuff about music, you can bring crowd and you know what you're doing. Another strategy is to get listed in online DJ booking agencies. There is a bunch of them around. Look them up in your area. They could be international as well. See what kind of DJs they're looking for and if you are a good fit. And if so, approach them, send in your resume, send in your social media links and get listed. Approach event companies, same thing. In your area there will be event companies who organize bigger or smaller events. Every event needs music. Talk to them introduce yourself and make sure you are on their list for their next event. So this would be the six steps to get you started with your DJ career. If this makes sense to you, join my email newsletter and download the PDF version of this guide for free. It comes with all the links and makes it easier for you to find the resources online.